Not looking so bad. Dear God, my eyes. Badly. Zip up, get to work, and let's never talk about this again. So, I've delved more into Kaylin Lau's investigation, and an enormous number of missing person cases centre around the EPC. The inspector was definitely onto something. Then let's find that guy and get out fast. If they work out Angel's dead sec before we find them, the nicest thing they'll do is kill him. Summons. I've already taken care of your entry. Get you in quick and quiet. Just keep me off their actual system, yeah? Christ knows I don't need any extra attention. No worries. I'll spoof. But come meet me on the rooftop. You only place here that doesn't smell like piss. Got some info for you. The European Processing Center. It processes deportees by stacking them up in squalid conditions and forgetting about them. But hey, it's to protect London, right? What's going on here? This place is worse than a prison camp. Every day I see people come through here, torn from their homes and their fathers. I'd rather stay and keep our eye on things. Maybe how about once in a while? Like, no. This is a fucking abomination. Nobody should be treated this way, let alone somebody whose only sin is being unlucky enough to be born in the wrong place. Yeah, well, people have been disappearing. Records say they have been processed, but it doesn't add up. No one ever properly leaves. And with the Kellys prowling around like fucking hyenas, I am not too optimistic about the people slipping through the cracks. Well, that checks out. Mary Kelly has a reek in tentacles choking out half the burrows in the city. True. Now, about your missing guy, the best place to start would be the EPC database. They keep a record of everyone that comes in. And be careful. Pushing the location of the EPC database on your optic. There will be a database here that we can search for evidence on Angel Lopez. Tell me you found something. I have. His file has been deleted from the main database, along with hundreds of others. Still very detailed. Even when committing crimes against humanity, the government doesn't skip on paperwork. Here is a recording labelled Exit Interview.
You know what we do with terrorists, Lopez? Ah, uh -uh, don't go pissing me off by denying anything. We know you're with DedSec. You think you were picked up on some random sweep? Not a fucking chance. Nothing to say. Hmm. Well, this is not gonna go well for you then, because I want information. The rest of your cell, where are they? I want names, places, everything you've got. You think I'm daft? I spill everything I know and what? You let me go? I'm not talking. I know how this ends. Oh, I don't think you do. I'm going to throw you to the wolves. The Kellys have an interesting way of disposing with problems. You think I'm scared of some fucking thugs? Of winding up floating in the dance? Fuck you! You're too pretty for that, mate. <laughs> First, they'll peddle you. For Dosh, right? Then, when you're used up, they're going to chop you up and send the pieces to the Four Corners. I can take whatever you've got. I almost feel sorry for you. Get him to the bloody clinic, then. Shit. They knew he was dead sec the whole time. This doesn't look good for Angel. The clinic keeps government service hours, which means it's closed. We'll have to find Angel the old-fashioned way and hack their CTOS hub. Deportation limbo, horrible living conditions, unexplained disappearances. It's almost as if the media are deliberately ignoring the situation here in favor of... Oh, look here, Beatrice Stokely, 89, recently took up kickboxing to fill up her days. Fascinating. If the EPC is a typical example of how humans treat each other, I'd say a benevolent AI overlord is a step up, wouldn't you? Ah, sure, Bagley. Reconstructed an AR scene of Angel's examination. You can view it inside the clinic. Nicely done. of implant. We need a closer look. Facial analysis matches for both. They're part of Mary Kelly's little pack. So, Inspector Lau was right after all. Clank Kelly and Albion are in bed together. What a shit orty that would be. Chips coated with biocompatible glass to prevent rejection. Ah, so they put something in his neck. Maybe a tracker? A biometric monitor? No, these are more sophisticated. If I had to guess, I would say they were designed to deliver a dose of some unknown compound. Not the kind of thing you find at your local corner shop. I could reconstruct the path he took if you want to see how this clip hanger gets resolved. Stay on him. He may have gotten away. Fucked up! We don't have a match! 
damage yet, she's gonna kill us. Nah, it's fine. As long as he's not damaged, there'll be no waste. Demand's high with the new network. Guess you're right. Let's cheer him, get him in the van and out to the incinerator. What the fuck was that? That must have been the implant they stuck him with. The chip must have been triggered. I know the situation looks bad, but we need definitive proof of what happened to Angel. We need to find him, see what they did to him, and what that fucking microchip is all about. Seems like advanced technology for Mary Kelly and her band of thugs to be waving around. Could Mary be part of a scary dark web hacker group like, say, oh, I don't know, pick one, zero day? Interesting theory, Bagley, but hold your investigation algorithms for the moment, will you? Angel needs us. The incinerator they mentioned is probably the suburb incinerator. It's practically right around the corner.